Hello Leo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message for past love, someone you have history with. I recently posted a poll in the community tab um, asking if separating the readings into past love and new love would bring more clarity and it seems like it will. So make sure you go cast your vote. Um, so this is all, this is going to be all about someone you have history with um, and then I will upload a new love reading as well. So just remember that energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, spirit. How does this past person feel about Leo? Okay, we do have the two of wands. We have the page of swords. the emperor right away i feel like this person you know they're kind of always curious about you leo they're kind of always curious about what you're up to what you're doing who you're talking to where you're going um but i feel like there's no like clear direction with this connection it's like you kind of maybe there was like some flirting or maybe you know if you do have a lot of history with this person there's always sort of that like random conversation but it just it it, it feels not that it doesn't go anywhere it's just like where are we going Right. Um, so we have the Emperor here, Aries energy. I feel like this person sees you as someone who um, is like a boss, someone who's a leader, someone who's like, I don't have time for certain certain things. Right. So maybe if you had a connection with this person where you would kind of go back and forth a little bit, this person doesn't see you as, as doing that anymore. This kind of came through with uh, the Aries reading. So if you have Aries in your chart, you're dealing with an Aries, check out that reading as well. Um, but this is someone who I feel like they're always going to be curious about you. They're always going to wonder what you're up to. Tell me about the emperor. Tell me about the emperor, please, spirit. The knight of cups. <laughs> I feel like it's this one. The tower. You know, this person thinks a lot about coming towards you. Scorpio energy here. This person thinks about sort of just surprising you and coming on in and seeing how you would react to it. But they, again, they see you in this emperor energy. They see you as someone who might not even be receptive to that or just like someone who's like too busy or, um, you know, you kind of come off a little bit. Um, you're very strong minded to this person. You're very much like Maybe you're a little bit blunt too with them, but they, 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 they think about it. They do. They think about, you know, and if you do have history with this person, a long standing history, they think about the past dates or they think about the past, you know, times of hanging out. Again, I do love reading. So love can be a lover, but love can be friends. Love can be between family members. So take it as it resonates. Um, I feel like this, per this person is, they kind of pop up. I feel like you kind of pop up too, though. Like maybe the two of you go a long period of time without speaking and all of a sudden, like one of you just like messages the other or like just likes the other picture or you see each other or something like that. It's like you just kind of like pop up out of nowhere. And I feel like when that pop up happens, um, even if it's this person being like, you know what, I haven't, I haven't looked at Leo's page in a while. Let me go look or let me message them, see what they're up to. I feel like that pop up brings up these feelings of like, hmm. You know, I feel like this could go somewhere, but like where, where is it going? Um, yeah, interesting. Okay, anything else about that page of swords? Two of pentacles, it, you're getting two, two here as well. I see the judgment card at the bottom. It's like this person thinks a lot about reaching out instead of actually doing it. And again, maybe when they do reach out, they keep it sort of like they're in the emperor energy like it's you know like they're too busy for it or you know it's not that big of a deal to them but i feel like you're always on their mind <laughs> um so let's see let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks could be a little less could be a little more what actions page of wands the eight of pentacles so definitely getting a message here 
Um, we have death. We have the four of pentacles. Scorpio energy here. Tell me about death. Ace of swords. Yeah, this person wants to talk about it. They want to talk about the ending. They want to talk about what happened. They want to talk about um, why you guys are the way you are right now. Um, I feel like this person can't let you go. There's a conversation coming. You got two cards of a message coming through here, um, Leo. So I don't know if you work with this person or this person just wants to work on it. Um, here's the thing, what I'm getting with this eight of pentacles though, is that I feel like when this person says they want to work on it, they do, but I don't feel like it lasts for very long. I feel like this could be someone who's like, okay, say if it is a friend, like let's be friends again, you know, I want to try. And then maybe they do for a week or two and then they kind of like fall off again. So, um, and then that might be sort of like the pattern between the two of you here. Anything else about that ace of swords? Queen of Swords. <laughs> There's a conversation coming, but this person also puts a wall up here. I feel like they, it's almost like they come back to have a conversation just to know that they can, but then they're still like, oh, but like I can't, like, like I said, the effort isn't very long. It, it's like, now I'm back to having my wall up. Now I'm back to like, you know, being cold or, you know, being logical about the situation. Well, this could never really go anywhere or whatever it might be. It's strange. It's like they want to reach out just to know that they can. Um, tell me about that page of wands. Whoa. Okay. We did get the seven of cups. They said put those back, so I will. <laughs> tell me more about the page of wands. Eight of swords. You know, the, you confuse this person. I don't even think you do it purposely. I feel like this person gets all up in their head about you. They, they don't know what they really want either. I feel like, again, they come back. It's like they're sending mixed messages. They come back, they send a message, they show interest just to confuse you just to confuse themselves it's like they they overanalyze the situation they're not thinking straight about it all they know is that they want to talk to you okay <laughs> why the four of pentacles like why can't this person let this go seven of pentacles because they do see potential in this they do see like they could have long term here queen of pentacles seven of wands now you're getting seven seven so look out for sevens and twos it's like as much as this person enjoys your energy, they feel like you're very mature. They feel like you're someone they could depend on, they could rely on. They also, it's like they, it's like they don't want to admit that either. It's like they don't want to admit that you're as giving as you are because then maybe there's part of them that would have to admit like they've taken advantage of it or they didn't appreciate it or, you know, um, this per I don't know. This person's strange. It's it's a lot of back and forth here. It's like to message just to take it back, to say let's work on it, just to go cold again, to hold on to this, just to be defensive, just to block. Like it's it's weird. Um, I gotta be honest with you, Leo. <laughs> so I don't know who this is. Lots of Scorpio energy here. Aries, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. A little bit of water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Oh, we, we do have Scorpio, but Pisces, Cancer. If you don't hear their sign, though, it doesn't mean they're not here. Um, we have some air, too. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's see, though. What, what is this person's true intentions? Like, what do they really want here with Leo? What is this person's true intentions? Ace of Wands. So for some of you, if this is like a past lover, they're definitely interested in having some sort of physical connection here. Oof, we got Ace of Cups. King of Pentacles, wow. So what does this person truly want deep down? They wanna be your counterpart. I don't know if this is like a, a someone you were, weren't into business with or thought about that too. I feel like they see um, that potential, but this is someone who just sees you as their match. This is someone who I feel like deep down, they really see you as the perfect match, someone they could build with. The King and Queen of Pentacles is like a power couple or it's like someone who, you know, Two people coming together and you're both on the same page you both work hard you're both working towards the same goal here but not only that this person has a lot of feelings for you they care for you um and they're very attracted to you if this is you know a lover situation here so this is someone who i feel wants to start fresh because they see you as the perfect match here <laughs> so this is what they really want deep down tell me more the empress tell me more in the page of cups so we have the emperor and the empress now too this is someone who feels like you're their match in a lot of ways 
Um, I don't know if this is like a parent situation, if you're both parents and you share children or something like that, or maybe that was um, if your parents separately and don't share children yet. But either way, I feel like this person sees you as a power couple here. This is someone who sees you like you bring whatever to the table, they bring whatever to the table and you, you fill in the blanks for each other. You, it's like yin yang here. Um, so this is someone who deep down I feel wants to apologize, wants to um, be with you, wants to start fresh because they see you as the match. There's, there's no one else that they've, they, that is this perfect of a match for them. Especially when it comes to hard work and career and money and um, nurturance and you know maybe you both even enjoy nature. There's like they they just see you as like okay it's it's always gonna be Leo in that sense. Um, so yeah, there. But let's see the potential outcome. What is the potential outcome? Eight of Swords again. This person overthinking everything, um, overanalyzing, looking calm and cool on the outside, but on the inside their mind is like racing. Um, we got the six of wands. Someone could just, someone could be worried about their reputation in some way, or they're in the public eye. And so they don't know how it's going to look to others or something like that. But we did get the four of wands. I mean, this is wanting to take it to the next level, whatever that looks like. So, um, tell me more about that four of wands. But then we got the eight of cups. You see, it's like, let's get together. Let's have this great time just to walk away again or to be like emotionally unavailable. Like, what is this? This person's back and forth. You're getting eight, eight here. So what did you get? You got eights, twos, and sevens. Um, two, eight, seven, seven, eight, two. Obviously there's a bunch of different combinations. Could be dates, could be birth dates, significant dates. Take it as it resonates. Maybe those are numbers you're seeing. It's like, as soon as this person like has you or is going to that next level with you then there's like this distance maybe this is you too maybe you're like i don't know if i can get close to this person i don't know if i can fully let them in or not um it's almost like i heard it so i'm gonna say it it's almost like a little game that the two of you play i don't know if you're doing it intentionally or you don't see it as a game or you're like i'm not playing games at all because the five of swords isn't here but it's like this sort of like playful cat mouse that the two of you kind of will continue to do or at least this person wants to continue to do with you um is how this feels so how will leo know who this is how will leo know who this person is please spirit it's like and i've noticed throughout this reading too cards want to keep coming out and then they go back in so it's like this person has things they want to say and express to you but then they don't um, we got the hanged man, could be a Pisces, eight of pentacles, could be someone you work with, doesn't have to be, or could be someone who's really focused on their career, someone who's very much, um, maybe they don't, they say they don't have time for anything else or something like that. Um, we got the three of wands, the four of pentacles, and the lovers, Gemini energy. This is someone who there is a very strong bond with, again, seeing the emperor at the bottom, someone who could be a leader or a boss. Someone who's not going to let this go, but I feel like they're choosing something else right now. It could be their career, like I said. There's just like this sense of stuckness. Like the two of you kind of just stay in this limbo. There's not really a clear direction of where this is going. You know that the two, like, it's like, again, it feels like when they reach out, when the two of you reconnect, it's like they get that hit of like, okay, I know I can, I can message Leo or like, we'll always have this little thing, but then we don't really take it anywhere. But I do feel like there's a very strong bond between the two of you here. Um, any advice for Leo? King of Swords, be smart about it. Think it through set boundaries if you need to we got the devil capricorn energy and the star if this is a very tempting connection um don't shoot the messenger leo if this is a very tempting connection there's something like you feel uh, mm, drawn to it in some way it's almost like addicting in some way i feel like this is something to heal this is something to overcome right because i feel like it's not that there's not love here or there's not a strong connection but it feels like unfulfilling um yeah so it can be hard when there's strong attraction there's a lot of feelings but just think about if if this is serving you and um contributing to what you want your future self to look like is how i'm gonna put it 
So yeah, the, I mean, the devil is really alluring, right? Um, the devil can look really good, smell really good, feel really good. And it's like, it's hard to kind of walk away from, right? But I feel like spirit's asking you to um, think this through. Okay, messages for Leo. Pets, getting a new pet, giving your current pet new love. So that could be confirmation for someone if you did get a new pet. Um, could be advice to sort of cuddle your pet a little more. Love spell, you've been bewitched. That's what's coming through here too with your advice. It feels like there's, maybe you feel like you don't know what it is about this person. It's just so tempting. Um, but it's something to overcome here, I feel. Messages for Leo. Thank you. Confession. Someone has to tell you something. So th there's a message coming here, right? You got two cards of messengers for their actions. Um, they're coming forward. What they, what they intend and what they're actually doing are two different things, though. So just keep that in mind. Um, we got, I know that I messed up everything. Okay, cards just flying here. We got, I feel empty and hollow inside. I can't open up right now. Messages for Leo. I've lost all control of my life. I keep messing up. My pride and ego got hurt, so I wanted revenge. I wanted you to hurt too. So this is someone whose ego could really get in the way here. Um, I know what I'm doing. I play dumb to keep you confused. You see, it, like it, that's what I'm saying. They reach out just to send mixed messages, just to keep you like in this loop. We are living two separate lives. Yeah. So this could be someone who's like, if it is a lover, fully committed elsewhere, but keeps coming back to you or something like that. I don't know. It, it feels complicated. We got. I feel unbalanced and uneasy. I don't know what to do to fix it. I was afraid that you would reject me if I shared my feelings to you. So this is someone who does not want to open up messages thank you the timing just wasn't right for us so just because there's it, it just feels like you're both aware there's a strong connection here but yeah maybe the timing isn't right maybe this is like a uh a friend from work or something like that but there's feelings there but they're in a relationship or you are or something like that um but then we also got my focus is on my life i can't be bothered to worry about you so like i said someone who's very career focused but then I feel alone and in the dark, where is my light? So I feel like you are this like light to this person. This person always kind of comes back to you because look at this, you came closer than anyone, but they're not doing anything with it. I am embarrassed by my actions and feel disgusted with myself. And it's too late, I moved on and do not wish to reconnect. Like, this person's all over the place, really. Um, so let's see, messages for, whoa. Communicate clearly. No with an exclamation mark. So if you were asking yourself a yes, no question. And then we got trust. I just heard no trust though. So for some of you, you feel like you can't trust this person. Um, but if you were asking yourself yes, no question, that could be your answer. We did get guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So maybe guilt is what keeps you coming back to this person. That can also be represented by the devil, but it's something to overcome because then you got happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path, right? So whatever your happiness looks like um, is best for you here, Leo. And then let's see, messages for Leo, please, spirit. Thank you for the messages so far. Okay, we've got time for a nap. That one flipped pretty... Funny. We got 24, and then we did get the fates, number 17. So let's see. 24. So you got, you are a human being, not a human doing. Is it possible you're suffering from workaholism? Could you be, could you be the one who thinks it's your job to save everyone, to be there for everyone, and to go, go, go until you can barely see straight? You've gone as far as you can. You've worked hard and nourished people and projects, but now you are an empty well and have no reserve for others or for yourself. Don't let your ego keep you going full speed when your body and your spirit need rest. Exhaustion is calling you to stop what you're doing altogether and take a break. 
If you don't, the appearance of this card could portend a possible illness that stems from being totally overwhelmed. You will feel like a new person if you take that break. Do it now. So that could pretty strong message from spirit there. Um, that could be pertaining to work or just like in general. And then uh, we did get the fates. It is difficult to understand why painful things happen to good people. Fate is a mystery after all. Yet what we do with our circumstances, the way in which we respond to life's challenges is how we rise up to greet our destiny. Now is one of those times to be aware of your powerlessness to change certain situations and surrender to acceptance. Hang in there. Life will only get better. Act as if you believe that, for the only thing you can control right now is your attitude. When you align with the fates, being mindful of what you can and cannot change, serenity will come to you. So fate, karma, acceptance that there are things you cannot change and knowing what those things are. So maybe this is just acceptance of this situation, that it is what it is. Um, but if you're still having um, some questions here, Leo, and you're seeking clarity, check out my link in the description box for Mystic Sense. There you can connect to a love psychic of your choice and your first five minutes with them are completely free. Um, there's also a code there for 10% off, so check that out. So we do have letters and numbers today. These could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, significant dates. Take it as it resonates. If something here doesn't resonate, though, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we have L, B, C, N, D, the number one, the number two, the number seven, and the number eight. Okay, so I do hope something here resonated with you, Leo. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. Sending you so much love and light.